In this video, I'm going to walk you through some reasons for filing a location challenge, as well as how to fill out the location challenge form. First, you want to search for your specific address using the address bar. If the pin icon in the middle of your screen is displaying as gray rather than blue as shown here, all you need to do is click on the location circle or point underneath that pin. Then the information on your right side of your screen will fill in. Now I'm going to talk about a few of the reasons you might want to file a location challenge. So if this point were on um, a different, like a secondary building, like a garage, which may be shown here, or some sort of shed, um, that would be a reason to submit a challenge. Um, if the location were just not on the building itself, um, that would be a reason for a challenge. If your address is spelled incorrectly, or if when you search for your address, it brings you to the incorrect location building, um, that's a reason for a challenge. Uh, if the location type, um, which here is recorded as business, um, if it's uh, recorded as residential or group home or some other type that it is not, um, that is a reason for a challenge. Um, also, if the unit count is incorrect, so this is referring to um, like uh, any kind of a multiple dwelling unit where you have like an apartment building or you might have a, a separate apartment in your basement um, that would have a separate interconnection from your own. Um, that would be counted as a unit count as two. Um, so that in that situation, if it was only reported as one, you would run a uh, file a challenge to change that. Um, so, uh, once you click on location challenge over on the right, you wanna first make sure that you are challenging the correct location. Make sure that it matches the address that you are trying to challenge. And then you're gonna fill in your name and email address. Both are required to submit this form. And then you're going to use this drop down menu to select the appropriate challenge reason. And then you're going to, going to provide a brief dis description of the challenge itself. Um, this is optional, but um, it, it may be... So you're going to select the appropriate challenge category. And then provide a brief description of the the reason for the challenge. Finally, um, this is an optional um, part of the form where you can upload any kind of inf uh, information that may support your challenge. Um, for example, if your address is spelled incorrectly, you could uh, take a screenshot with your phone um, or some other camera and um, upload a picture of a piece of mail that displays your address correctly. Or if you have, um, you know, tax forms or something like that, that maybe um, indicate the number of units in your home. Um, anything that might help just uh, make this challenge resolve uh, more quickly will um, be helpful to include here. But again, they're not required. And then finally, you're going to check this little box here to certify that you are um, sharing correct information to the best of your knowledge, and then you'll hit submit down at the bottom. Um, now, the reason your email address is required is because the FCC will email your receipt of this challenge after you submit it, uh, and that is how they will communicate with you about uh, how the challenge proceeds. Now, not included in this form, are situations when you go to your, you search for your home location. For example, if we pretend that this building structure here is our house, and you can see there is no point located on this building. To file a missing location challenge, you simply click on that location and you can see a gray dot has appeared along with some coordinates. 
you're going to click on Challenge Location, and that will create a separate location challenge that um, is based on where you clicked in the map. So again, you're going to fill out your name and your email address. This category, you're going to leave it as is because it is selected correctly. It's a missing broadband serviceable location. And then you'll scroll down. You're going to enter your correct address for that location. This part is required. The unit count, the building type, um, any documentation you have, um, and description of, of that challenge. Um, Again, if in, in this situation, if you have mail um, or something like a utility bill that you can share um, that includes your address, that would be a helpful piece of evidence to include for this type of challenge. And again, you certify that you are being truthful about this challenge and submit. Once you submit your challenge, you should be able to uh, turn on the challenge layers by clicking this little sandwich button over on the left hand side of your screen when you hover over it it says toggle layers you can turn on location challenge and missing location both of those are types of location challenges uh, basic location challenges will display as blue and missing locations will display as purple Finally, because you shared your email address in the location challenge form, you should receive an email receipt from the FCC after you submit your challenge.